All right, what is up, guys? We are back with Eden Zero, Chapter 26, Two Sisters. Um, so this should be really, really cool. I'm, I'm excited to see uh, this confrontation, what Evelyn is going to say to, to Ivory. Um, I think she left quite the impression on me last chapter, so I'm excited to, to get a little bit more of her um, this chapter. Um, so yeah, let's see. Let's see what happens. Like, I just love, I just love that, that, like, cocky smile that she's got. Um, alright. Um, Sister Ivory, one of the Demon King's four shining stars. How do you know about this? Then her power is sealed within this machine. Hey, can you not release her with your, uh, ether gear? With protections like these, it wouldn't even be hard. Please, save her. I desire your trust. Alright. Uh, Shiki, you're okay. Weiss, Homura. Who's that you brought with you? No time to explain. A chronophage is coming here. It's chaos outside. The streets are packed with people trying to get off the planet. What? We can't hang around here, Jin. Uh, sister, we need to get out. Sister, who is that woman? Uh, that's what I want to know. Who the hell are you? Oh, okay, so yeah, maybe she is, like, trying to, like, impersonate a sister or something like that. <clears throat> so I came to this planet 10 years ago on a job. I remember being surrounded by a bunch of freaks, and the next thing I knew, I was hooked up in the basement of some filthy old church. For 10 years. <laughs> uh, so I do a little digging and find out there's some moron out there going by my name and using my powers like she owns them. Okay, so I was right last chapter, thinking that she was trying to be Sister Evelyn, and she took up a new name, too, of course. Okay. Um... So I guess that device in the basement was transferring my powers to you. Uh, and you've been, you've been using them for one hell of a uh, racketeering outfit. I never meant to. At first, I only wanted to heal my, my injured comrades. Then people started flocking to me and I was the head of a band of mercenaries. I always meant to give these powers back someday. Please, you have to believe me. Uh, I was worshipped... I have worshipped you as a god. I believed you had the power to make miracles. And I still... You think I give a rat's ass? <laughs> yeah. I think I'm gonna like her, dude. Like, she just, like... She doesn't even want to hear your sob story, man. Like, she has no time for your backstory. Um, you stole someone's identity for a whole decade and you think you got nothing coming? Do you? I'm going to break you and fix you and break you again for the rest of your life. You're going to be in a living nightmare until I get tired of you. Uh, forget about her. We need to get out of here and fast. Uh, so you're the new Demon King. You look kind of wimpy to me. Are you the real sister? Yes, your minions rescued me, great Demon King. I ain't his minion. I am not his minion. Uh, I heard the whole story. You're getting the game back together on Eden Zero, right? We didn't tell you any of that. Uh, yeah. Uh, which the witch did. She sent me a message that voice sure does bring back memories. Thanks for having me, Demon King. It's Shiki. Call me Shiki. Yeah, man, I really like her design, dude. Um. Oh, I, is Homer getting, like, jealous or something? Okay. Okay, before we blow this joint, I gotta wrap up some business. It won't take long. The job I was on 10 years ago is right in this tower. Uh, it disgraced the four shining stars if I left without finishing it. <laughs> she strips too, man? God damn it. Uh, so at least we know where Sister Ivory got it from. Uh, dispel Driver. So she's got a, a ether gear too, I'm guessing. Uh, why did you take your clothes off? Uh, what, you've never seen any of those nun videos? <laughs> Um, uh, what's this light? Oh, okay, so her job was to free all the, the, the statues, okay. Um, what, where am I? The statues are all turning back. Wow, it's a miracle. What did you do? Well, that's that, let's go. Jen, come on, forget about those guys. Uh, don't say I didn't try. Okay, so Jen is just, like, looking on, interesting. You should get out of here, too. We'll settle this some other time. Uh, Jin, please take me with you. <laughs> yeah, right, man. Jin is, after what you pulled with him, like, using, uh, him as a shield, he's not gonna take you. 
Oh, uh, yeah, he's just stepping on her. Oh, what are you? You lied to me. I didn't. I just don't forget how many times I've healed thee. All the despicable things I've done for you because I believed you could save, uh, Klene. Interesting. Uh, but I can't. I still have some of Sister's power left. I will save, uh, thy friends, so please. Man. Just, like, crushed her entire head. Uh, Klene is my sister. I have no friends. Um, I don't like, I mean, this is something that Mashima always does, but, like, takes a character that, like, that, like, I took, like, very seriously, uh, like, Sister Ivory, like, not that I, like, I found her, like, a little bit intimidating, like, I don't know, like, like, she was serious, right, and now just, like, seeing, like, how she went out, man, is just, like, she, she was just, like, a complete joke all, like, all along, right, so, I don't know, man, that's kind of disappointing. Um, alright, so get on the ship quick, leave all your stuff, the chronophage erases everything, um, is that Kana with the beer bottle over there? Um, I'd like to see when Gils was clean and pretty, that's crazy talk. Uh, Becky, you came out okay, and Copa, a large crowd of women. Uh, Becky was so amazing, she beat up that frog and she saved all these girls. I wasn't actually the one who saved the girls, but anyway, yeah, we know, the chronophage. Uh, the whole town is in panic. For better or worse, there are a lot of extra ships in this tower, so let's get out of here. You go on without me. I'm going to, I'm going to wait for Shiki, but I can't leave him. He's my friend. <laughs> Alright, so there's the chronophage. And now, like, now that, like, I think about it, like, because I, I said it last chapter, uh, last video, that, um, I was disappointed that we, we didn't get to see, like, Shiki and, and Ivory fight. Um, but, like, I guess I can excuse it just for the simple fact that, like, we do have this looming threat, like, like, you know, on its way right now, the chronophage, so, like, uh, I, I can let it, I can let it, uh, I can excuse it just, just because of that, because, like, we do have the chronophage on its way coming to erase the planet, and, like, having a fight just kind of seems like not having our priorities in check, if you know what I mean, so, um, yeah, I, I'm. I feel a little bit better about that now, even though I still would have liked to see it. It it, it makes sense why it didn't happen. All right, so uh, so you're setting coordinates of this Pino, and we go to her. Got it. I think you're sounding a little older, which I'm joking. Uh, she says we got ten minutes to the Chronophage touchdown. Ain't this exciting? Uh, no, not exciting. We made another new friend. I shall not say it out loud, but you are adorable. Could someone have some sense of urgency, please? <laughs> um, so, wait, yeah. Homer is the one that called... Okay, Homer called Shiki adorable. Interesting. Alright. Man, I really hope that this doesn't, like, turn into, like, a, a love triangle between Homer, Rebecca, and Shiki. Because um, you guys know I'm going to pick Homer all the way through, but, <laughs> like, come on. Um... So yeah, that's pretty much it for this chapter, man. Um, oh man, sorry. <laughs> uh, I'm glad. I'm glad that the that the chronophage is, isn't something that like um, it's going to be this recurring thing that's going to take like five chapters to finally get here or something like that. Like I'm, I'm glad that like it, it's like when it was introduced and it's like already basically here right like I, i'm glad that he hasn't wasted any time like getting to this point like we're just 10 minutes away from the chronophage actually coming to guilt um so i think that's pretty cool that uh i think the pacing has been like pretty pretty rapid and i'm okay with that um so yeah i mean i guess just the major thing about this chapter was just uh Evelyn in general, right? Her adding her to the group, um, her saving all the statues. Uh, they, <laughs> like imagine all of those those like Illiga's collection, like getting w woken up from this state of uh, you know stasis of turning being turned into statues. Like who knows how long they've been statues, right? Like probably years or something like that. To you know all of a sudden wake up 
and you're just like, whoa, like, where, where the hell I, am I? And then you have to worry about a chronophage coming to your planet. So, like, you have to, like, get, like, like, from the moment that they wake up, they just have to be, like, ready to leave, like, immediately. So, um, yeah, I, I feel, I feel for those, for, for those guys, man, because, like, that, that must be, like, a rough, like, like, to, I don't know, like, just, what's the word i'm looking for like a, a, a rough wake-up call right to, to have to deal with all this like literally just the the chaos of the entire planet in this moment um it's a pretty interesting wake-up call um so i mean i guess that's that's pretty much it also Jin, uh i think i could say for certainty that we're definitely going to see him run into him again at some point uh which is pretty cool um also getting like a little bit of his motivation of like why he followed Ivory in the first place. Uh, just because he was led to be believe that she could save his sister. Um, so that was, that was pretty cool to, to learn a little bit more about him. And, and, you know, that there's a little bit more to that character than just like fighting uh, uh, Shiki, right? Uh, so that was pretty cool. Um... And yeah, I mean, I guess just besides that, just Ivory was the, was the biggest thing. Like getting to to see a little bit of her of her character, um, her power, the spell driver. So the spell meaning, uh, like a, a a cancellation of some kind. So I'm guessing that's her power, just like to cancel out things, probably. Um, see, so yeah, I'm 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 curious to see like what the extent of her power is exactly. Um, and why does she have to strip when she does it? <laughs> like, uh, I don't know about that. But, um, besides that, man, I, I, I'm loving her personality. Um, like, she's just already standing out from the rest of the group. And this is just her first chap. Like, this is her introduction. She's standing out already to me. So, I think that's pretty cool. Um, but, yeah, that's pretty much it for this chapter, guys. Um, and I'll see you guys for the next one. So, peace.